What's good, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and today I'm in the flesh in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, Mini-Me, and I'm going over the latest PUBG Xbox news, and this one is huge because patch number three is out and live. This thing came in hot out of nowhere. I mean, we knew this was coming, but I didn't know it was coming right now, especially with all the delays in October. Everything was kind of pushed back. I didn't think we'd be seeing this until around Thanksgiving here in the U.S. or the end of November, but we're right at the first week of November, the end of the first week, and here it is, patch number three. So with this we have survival rewards so the dailies and missions and all that stuff we got custom matches and some new skins so i'm going to be going over all that stuff now and i really feel like with this content with the missions the dailies custom games that the game is full on in 1.0 mode just two months after the actual 1.0 release of the game which was on september 3rd but with all this stuff the new content the new vehicles the new weapons with patch number two and now with this i really feel like this was everything you needed to say that the game is in 1.0 mode and to celebrate this microsoft slash pubg are actually offering pubg for free on the microsoft store so i'm going to post that link down in the description box below so if you guys don't own pubg make sure you download it now tell all your friends even if you don't think your friends are going to play PUBG, tell them to download it just in case they ever want to play. And let's try to get this community to grow and build up on the Xbox One. I think this is awesome that they're doing this, but I hope that people don't really feel kind of jaded or slighted that they paid for it. I don't really mind because I was just playing the game a lot and I don't mind supporting them. I hope they do something for us on the Xbox One to kind of compensate all the players that didn't pay for it. And who knows, maybe this is just running for like a week and then they'll just say that was it. But realistically, in my opinion, I think they should just leave this game free for now and give us some kind of in-game compensation for all the players that actually paid money for it. Because I think with all these new rewards and cosmetics and hopefully new event passes, I think they can make plenty of money that way and uh, just open this game up for anybody who wants to play kind of like Fortnite. I think that would really help the community. So now with that being said, let's get on into the update. So you can see here, I'm on the live version of the game. So when you guys get home, if you're not already, this is what you'll see. We got the custom match. We have the new skins and the survival rewards. And to me, this is what is the most important update into the game. So we'll start with this first. So here are, we have the daily missions and the weekly missions. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the survivor level with the different crates. So every 10,000 XP you level up, you earn different crates. We're gonna get temporary unlocks. And then when you hit level 10, you will get a permanent unlock. And this is just something fun to do in the game. Something where maybe if you don't use a certain weapon and that's one of the missions you try it out kind of change up your play style and just anything you're working towards in a game obviously makes it more fun so i'm glad that they added this in for everybody so the daily missions for today are use a first aid kit get three kills with a sniper rifle or a dmr and get three kills with an smg which i think most people would get this pretty easily unless you don't use the sniper rifle or dmr you might just need to pick that up and focus on that and then the weekly missions here i don't know if this is a glitch or not or they're just going to change this after today but there's only eight hours left to do this we're really nine hours and this is to get 700 do well deal 700 damage to enemies heal for 500 health use 10 first aid kits drink 30 energy drinks and then drink 50 some of these you could probably do in the next eight or nine hours but i don't know if you could get the 30 and 50 energy drinks that would take a long time to just even find all of those in one day but nonetheless these would definitely be achievable in one week especially if you looked out for the energy drinks while you were playing and uh, you know kind of helped your teammates out for who anybody who didn't complete that yet you could kind of funnel them energy drinks if you're playing in a squad so here are the first set of daily missions and weekly missions, kind of what we can expect to see on a week to week basis. Then moving on to that, I think I should show you guys the new stuff in the store. So we have, oh, that's the wrong place. Here we go. Here's the store. We have the new Harley Quinn and Joker set, and these are officially licensed. So I was pretty surprised to see that these were licensed officially, um, but it has been a while since the Suicide Squad movie came out. So maybe they got a good deal doing this. It's a little bit late, but better late than never, I suppose. And obviously Harley Quinn has a big following. I mean, this movie was so-so, but the characters to me were awesome. And if you hit Y, you can preview the sets here. So this is the most expensive set to date. We have Harley Quinn's outfit, the baseball bat, her makeup, her makeup and hair and they've also added a makeup section to the creative class customization so now we have makeup and the face mask and some new things there which is pretty cool and then moving over to the bat when i saw this in the preview i was wondering if they were going to add a new melee weapon to the game or what they were doing with this but it turns out in the patch notes that this is actually just a skin for the machete and the crowbar so let me know what you guys think of that down below i was hoping there would be a new melee weapon in the game and i was thinking that can't be too hard but who knows uh, but for right now this is just a skin and obviously this really completes the outfit so if you find one of these items uh, that'll be nice to have but i think hopefully eventually they'll just put a baseball that into the game. I feel like that would work in this game for the most part. And then on to the Joker set, which is 2000 G coin. I mean, this guy looks cool 
in this screen here. But when you check this out, I mean, it's just a white suit and the makeup seems pretty basic. So the only thing I think is really cool here or worth it is the green hair, but I don't think I would spend 2000 G coin for green hair. So I wish or hope that they had some way to earn this in game. I know it's officially licensed, so they want to probably show that company that they're making money off their content. But to me, this one is just a little overpriced for what it is. And now with all the other things going on, I mean, if these were this price, but the, the Halloween outfits were a lot less, maybe it would justify it. But I know I'm a little fatigued now after purchasing the clown set. I'm not going to be spending on this money money on this game for a little while. As you can see, I have some G coins stored up and battle points, but I'm waiting until a holiday event or until 2019 to spend this stuff. I want to see some new skins in the game. I'm tired of getting beige weapon skins and crossbow skins. Um, so to me, I think they need to bring these prices down and put some more stuff into the game for me to really be enticed or uh, you know purchase more stuff. But maybe if you guys skip the Halloween set, you might be interested in buying uh, the Harley Quinn outfit or the Joker. Then moving on, last but not least, what I'm really excited about is the custom match mode. I really want to be hosting some awesome custom matches with everybody from the stream and the Blitz 5 and Friends Xbox Club. Shout out to everybody who's joined that. We're over 50 players now. I'll also put that in the description box below if you guys are interested in joining up with people from the stream and myself. I want to be hosting some really cool custom matches and hopefully we can run some tournaments or something like that or give a prize to whoever survives the giant stream battle royale. But getting into this, if you click on custom match, this will take you to normal mode or war mode, or normal mode being battle royale. So if you hit A, you can just select from anybody else who's created a custom match so far. So for example, this guy here, Bong8700 or 8700, created a match on Erangel using six player teams, third person view, and total of 24 players. So you can just go through here and read all the options where the, they have the red zone on, the weather, all that stuff. These guys have it set to sunny and you could select from here or you can hit Y and create your own. And what's cool about this is that they've left in some of the event mode stuff, the previous event mode. So for example, in Battle Royale, they have the 45ers event and you can change some of the options here, but not everything is changeable. You can change the players, et cetera which again will be interesting to see how this works if you're doing 10 man teams with 100 players i wonder if this is going to crash or if the custom match can handle it we'll see um, but then some of the settings aren't changeable when you go in here when you go to overpowered you can't change the map it's stuck to miramar so you can just go to the default settings here so for example if we were to run a war mode with everybody from the stream i think it would be fun to do something like erangal get maybe 24 or 32 players from the club see who's available maybe run six man squads or eight man squads and then we put the weather on i don't know something fun like foggy or rain or overcast because you know a lot of times we're playing in sunny mode anyways and then we could make this public or private lock it up make a password just get everybody from the club involved and have a lot of fun so i'm definitely looking forward to that i'll make another video soon the next week or two trying to plan a date where i think the most people can play i'll start asking people in stream maybe run a poll but it'd be really nice maybe on a weekend or something on a sunday to see if we could get 20 30 maybe even 40 people on PUBG in a full custom match so details about that to come really excited about this this is a really cool update and again i'm going to be streaming this today and tomorrow because there's just so much stuff going on with this and a lot of hype for PUBG. this is great so tell your friends PUBG is free survival rewards are available custom matches available and we have those new skins and obviously they're working every week and every month to optimize this game and uh make it better so here we are here's the update here's patch number three thank you all for watching i'm blitz five and peace out